Hello and welcome to this third video in our series of tutorial videos concerning FAMAS AI System Assessment Tool. My name is Franco Luciano and I'm here today with uh, Ulf Herbig, uh, Chair of the AI Task Force at FAMA. Uh, so in this video we will uh, go a bit more into detail regarding how the tool can be customized and modified uh, by the users. So it can fit um, with the different needs and goals of each individual firm who may be using this tool. So in this line of thought, uh, I would like to ask you if, if you could please uh, elaborate a bit on what are the typical areas uh, where users of the tool can customize it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Franco, and thanks everyone for watching. So let me share the tool again for everyone who has been watching the second video of our tutorial series already. You now have learned and understood the concept of the AI system assessment tool. And this time we speak about customization. Customization can go in, in two ways. The first one is the data points that you have available to be selected. Like the audience here, you have many different values to be selected, the input data, and so you have many data points where there is proposed value. And I intentionally use the word proposed because at one point within the discussions of the task force, we realized that different firms have different taxonomies, maybe even for the same terms. In order to accommodate and account for that, we have created a top data value list. And in this top, you simply need to either extend or update the values and they will automatically be reflected in the certain level. In this case, we have the level one. In the other case, we have the level two. Again, you can fully customize it to your own organizational taxonomy. The second way of customization, of course, is that you can extend it. So extension means that we have pre-prepared for you already 20 use cases, but if you want to go for longer, then you can extend this by just copy and pasting the rows. Last but not least, you can customize it by adding even additional data points, because for everyone who watched the first video, we said we have left intentionally out data points around the economics of AI use cases, so you can fully customize it by any additional information you want to capture within the system. Thank you very much for this explanation, Ulf, and thank you to everybody who has listened to us. Um, so we would like to maybe as a final point say that uh, we are very open to feedback. Uh, we are planning to review this tool and to improve it and update it according to the input that we receive uh, from you, the user. So if you would like to provide some feedback uh, regarding and recommendations and ideas on how a farmer could improve this tool, uh, you could uh, please direct yourself to the first tab of this document uh, and at the bottom you will see the disclaimer in which uh, we include the email address in which you can uh, direct any ideas or recommendations that you might have. And we will be more than glad to revise them and to strongly consider them for future iterations of this AI tool. So thank you very much for listening. And yeah, thank you also for the explanations. Thank you, Franco, and thanks everyone for watching.